This is what this video is about. So of course the important question is, well, what is this? What am I holding in my hands? Well, thank you for asking. Murphy's Magic is a company that produces a lot of magic equipment as well as cards. Recently, they released a deck of cards called the Infinitus Playing Cards. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I think it's Spanish for infinity. Infinitas. I don't know. The point is, it's a deck of cards that has not yet been released on the market. However, Murphy's Magic, the company that was going to be distributing them and selling them, did a contest. Now, Murphy's Magic did a contest in which they selected one random individual to win a deck of Infinitas playing cards before they even hit the market. Guess who one of the winners was? That's right, me. I won a deck of cards from Murphy's Magic that isn't even released yet. I don't know what the cards look like. I don't know what's inside this package other than the fact the cards are in there. I'm going to do an opening and we're going to both take a look at the first glance what these cards look like and what they are like. My hands are washed. My setup is ready. Let's do this. I definitely should have brought scissors before I started recording this. everything and we get the playing cards wrapped up in a Murphy's Magic cardboard uh, by the way this is how you know this was an official Murphy's Magic product I, I guess I really should have brought scissors not for nothing though I really appreciate the fact that Murphy's Magic is keeping the product that they are sending really safe with all these precautionary packaging uh, protocols. So thank you for that. And let's take a look. So here it is. This is the Infinitas playing cards. Let's plop that down right here and take a look at the letter that comes with it. Okay, so the letter reads as follows. It says, congratulations on winning our Murphy's Magic Contest. You have won Infinitus playing cards before they have even hit the market. We really appreciate you being on our mailing list. Feel free to share what you do with your winnings on your social media as well. Please tag Murphy's Magic if you do. Again, thank you and we hope you find its content new and enjoyable. Best wishes, Sydney Anderson. Thank you very much, Sydney. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, let's take a look at what the cards are now. So this is going to be an impromptu and uh, first look at the Infinitus playing cards. The first thing I notice is the fact that to open the cards, there's a pull tab that a lot of cards lack these days. This little pull tab up here that you kind of pull around the pack like that to open it. I love the fact that this actually has it. A lot of bicycle cards don't anymore these days. Uh, before we even open up the box, the box design in of itself has uh, the Infinity logo essentially comprising of most of the design of the cards. You got the Infinity logo uh, really everywhere. I'm surprised there's no copyright information. Uh, actually, hold on, there is. Uh, yep, right there at the bottom. I apologize for the glare if there is any. So this is the Infinitus playing cards designed by Ryan Lehman. Uh, one out of 5,000. Huh, really? Apparently there's only 5,000 of these. I had no idea. Let's crack open the seal. Uh, what's on the bolt tab? Your choices are half chance, so are everyone else's on the pull tab. Cool. Uh, ooh, okay, I like that already. On the on the inside tabs, you got that nice little card design. 
That's nice. So pulling the cards out. There's the box. Let's put that there. So first and foremost, we have the Joker. Now, I just noticed this as I was rotating the cards, but this, this is a, uh, a symmetrical Joker. I don't think I've ever seen a Joker that's symmetrical before, but this is one of them. I like that. Uh, I think the other one was off the top. Yeah, the other one was off the top. Two symmetrical Jokers. Let's take a look moment and look at the back design first. This is the back design of the deck. Uh, again, you have the Infinity logo ever so prominent, consisting of the majority of the design. The Infinity logo is up on top. It's, uh, it's used as a border. It's used as the design itself. The Infinity logo is pretty much everywhere. Uh, this is what the Ace of Spades looks like. I really like what the, what the spade looks like, actually. The spade looks really nice. Uh, does it say something down there? Ah, it has Infinitus written at the bottom. Now, the spade actually is uh, is like that throughout the deck. This is a two of spades, or is it? Yes, I believe this is a two of spades. For a moment there, it looked like a club to me. Uh, I hope that there is a really... Um, that it's this, there's a distinguished difference between the spade and the club, otherwise that would be a little confusing. Uh, I'm quite curious what this would look like to a layman, whether or not they would believe it's a spade or a club. Uh, for, mo for the most part, the spot cards are consistent with what that looks like. These are the spades. The court cards are pretty nice. I love the fact that it's very minimalistic, yet at the same time elegant. There are not many colors on it. Um, now that I think about it, even the back design has a uh, very minimalistic colorless design. Uh, colorless doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It's actually pretty nice. It looks like uh, it was drawn with a pencil by a really nice artist. I just hope that the red cards are red. Uh, let's actually get there, since these are the cards. Yeah, the red cards. Uh, is this the diamond? Or is this the heart? I'm getting a little confused now what, what suit I'm looking at, but I assume this is the diamond. So you can see it's not really red red. It's kind of a mahogany type of a color. But it, it's definitely not black and white like the black cards were. So same with the spot cards. And then we get to the court cards. That's the Jack of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, King of Diamonds. There's our Kissing Kings. So that's what the club looks like. Now I can actually take a look and see the difference between the club and the spade. Personally, I believe there should be a bit of a more distinguished difference, but oh well. <laughs> It looks nice. I, I do love the fact that this is artwork. This really does look good. Some clubs. And then of course, the... And this is the Ace of Diamonds. The deck also comes with two gaff cards, the first of which is a double backer, so you have a card with the back design on both sides. That's uh, almost staple in almost every custom deck, so I'm glad that this is included. But another thing I really like is the fact that along with it is a blank facer. A blank face back is not in a lot of custom decks, but I'm glad that this one is included. There's a lot of uh, effects that can be done with it, which I'm... I have the opportunity to work with. 
So right out of the box, handling them, holding them, spreading through them, they feel really nice, actually. Uh, are they cut the way uh, traditionally cut? My pharaoh is actually not the best. But I will give it a try. Um, hmm. Nope, these cards are not traditionally cut, actually. They pharaoh from the back design to the face design. So, that's a little bit awkward. I was able to feel that right away, as soon as I pulled them out of the box. They feel nice. They fan really nice. Actually, I want you to see that back design as they fan. That's actually really nice looking. Uh, I'm going to try to do a giant fan. So you can see that. I really like the way they handle. I feel like if I break them in a little bit, they'll be perfect for performing with. Let's move that out of the way. There's a ribbon spread. So when you're handling cards and you're hoping to really get into your deck review, it would really be a really huge shame if the cards that you were working with turned out to be the wrong deck and they actually handed you the blank deck. Yeah, that would be really, that would really not be nice because if you only had a blank deck of cards to work with, there's really nothing you can do. That's why you give the cards a cut, print a card at the bottom. But the problem with that is even if you have a card printed at the bottom, you can't really do much with only one single card. That's why you give it another cut, print another card at the bottom, as well as another cut, which prints another one. And by exposing it to the air, you print more and more cards, allowing you to essentially expose the rest into air, so that the entire deck becomes printed. And now you have a working, fully printed deck of playing cards. I'd say overall the deck handles really, really well. I really like the way it feels. Even though it does feel a little bit awkward, the fa given the fact that it's uh, not traditionally cut and that you cannot pharaoh the cards uh, the way I typically pharaoh them, you have to pharaoh them with the back design facing out, which is not something I'm used to. 
Also, granted, I'm not the best at doing the Pharaoh, and I am definitely not, it's not a make or break thing. Cards are beautiful, they are a work of art, they look really, really nice. Also, it's a little bit difficult to recognize what suit it is I'm looking at. Like right now, I just pulled out a random card. Uh, I guess that's a spade. And like, look, even looking at the next one, I, I would assume that that's a heart only because it looks like an upside down spade. I see where they're going with, with the infinity logo everywhere. But um, I would just find a way to make the suits more recognizable. Everything else looks really nice. Again, it's a work of art. I really like this deck, and I like the gaffes that it comes with, and I really want to see this more often. I want to see jokers that have no one-way face design, if that makes sense. A lot of times the joker is a character that's standing in the middle of the card, or is uh, an, a character riding a bicycle or some sort of picture that can only be viewed, so to speak, correctly from one way. I like the fact that this is a double-sided joker, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, honestly, a really nice deck. I look forward to using it. I will certainly be using it when filming. Uh, great deck. Definitely look into it. I would definitely get pick one up because of how elegant and beautiful it looks. And once again, thank you to Murphy's Magic. Thank you to you guys as subscribers. If you want to see more deck reviews, feel free to leave a comment and a thumbs up below so I know to review more decks in the future. And as always, Daniel Grimm, out.